some beautiful fiery skies out there okay so i've now set up a composition waiting for the sun to come through so this is probably going to be about the best time to get the shot also there's a guy just turned up here to go for an early morning swim Good morning everyone. It is just over half an hour before sunrise. The weather forecast for this morning said we were going to get quite a lot of high cloud early morning breaking up sometime after sunrise. No low cloud, no middle cloud. It doesn't look like it's going to work that way because it looks like most of the cloud has broken up. There is a bit of cloud out this way which might do something nice when we start to get some light on the scene. I decided to come out to this beach that I haven't been to for, I don't know, eight, nine months. Uh, it's a beach with a big rock sort of sitting right on the water's edge. Um, and I came here because I thought, because I can get around this rock, I can shoot from different angles, so I can shoot directly towards the sun, I can shoot sort of sideways onto the sun. But now that I've arrived here, I'm kind of struggling a bit because the beach has partially been washed away, I guess in the recent storms. The, uh, the rock is much higher out of the water and where there was some beautiful sort of smooth sand, that's all gone, it's just a drop off which is all small pebbles. So I'm going to have to have a bit of a look around and see what I can find to shoot. It's uh, not proving to work out quite the way I was hoping, but I'm sure we'll find something. And I hope you'll enjoy the video. And if you do and you're not already a subscriber, please consider hitting subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you very much, I really appreciate that. Some beautiful fiery skies out there but I'm just really struggling to find a composition if I go too far kind of over this way then the big rock kind of blends in with the land in the background and it doesn't work if I go too far this way I lose the colors and there's not enough interest I've taken one shot just basically a bit of beach you can see some sea the bright sky behind the rock the rock itself and it's kind of okay, but what I'm hoping is that the sky over this way is going to catch a bit more and that might give me a chance to shoot from the other side. Okay, so I've got a shot set up now, ready for the sun to pop, hopefully through that little band of clouds sitting out on the horizon. It is officially sunrise, so the sun is actually above the horizon, but it's behind a little bit of low cloud out there on the horizon. The composition is basically big rock over on one side of the frame, and then hopefully the sun popping through on the other side of the frame. This is gonna be cropped, I would think, 
16 by 9, maybe even 2 to 1, just to take out a lot of boring stuff. It's a shame, there is some nice cloud right up high, but there's too big a gap. You know, we've got a little bit of cloud down low, lots and lots of blue sky, and then a little bit of cloud up high. So you can't really use that. But we'll see what it comes out like once the sun pops through, probably in four or five minutes. Once the sun's popped up and I've got that shot, I've got another idea for a composition which might work with some side lighting and we'll give that a go. Okay, so still waiting for the sun to come through, shouldn't be long. I've got two stop hard edged ND grad on just to hold the sky back because there's a lot of contrast. I'm shooting at f11, I'm focused on the big rock. I don't think I need to focus out on the horizon when the sun comes through because by the time it breaks through those clouds it's going to be too late to get a sun star. I mean at the moment my exposure time is a third of a second. Once the sun comes up it might get quite a lot faster than that. Okay, the sun is just poking out through the top of the clouds now. So this is probably going to be about the best time to get the shot. Also, there's a guy just turned up here to go for an early morning swim. So I'm not sure if he's going to end up in the frame. So it looks like F11, quarter of a second. Okay, now that the sun's come up, I've moved around the scene. And what I've got is a composition set up. I've got a little bit of this sort of small pebbles beach coming in on the bottom of the frame. Then the big rock. Then behind the scene, there's a big cliff, which uh, actually looks quite nice. And I'm hoping once the sun breaks through the clouds just a little bit more, that's going to light up a bit nicer. It's a, still a little bit flat at the minute. My first temptation was to go down closer to the water, but if I do that, then the big rock is overlapping with the cliff again, and I wanted some separation there. And I think I've got about the right composition for that. There's some quite nice clouds kind of forming a pattern coming in. Uh, I'm shooting at 16 mil, 17 mil. So that cloud pattern's kind of being exaggerated by the wide angle. And, uh, that might look quite nice, especially if that sun starts to really pick out some detail there. Yeah, sun's really broken through now. Got some nice light on the scene, lighting up the big rock, lighting up the cliff face, and there's a little rock out in the gap between the two, just picking out some nice detail. I've gone out to 16 millimeters. Just to fit the scene a little bit more in, get a little bit more of the shape of that kind of rocky hill in. That does mean that I'm getting um, a sign in. The sign is, is a, a danger of rockfall sign, but I can clone that out. And I must admit, I am just toying with the idea of doing a very, very small panel of this. Probably only two or three shots, wide angle, and just see what that looks like. I did briefly put the circular polarizer on um, to bring out a bit more contrast in the sky, but if I'm honest, I wasn't happy with the effect. I'm shooting wide angle and the sky's pretty blue, so I was concerned about that uneven polarization effect, so I took it off and I think I can pull enough contrast out in the sky without it.
Okay, we are now about 35 minutes after sunrise and it's starting to get too harsh now to carry on shooting. So I think it's time to pack up, head for home. I haven't had my breakfast yet, so I'm quite hungry, I'll need some coffee and I'll see what images I've got. It's a shame what's happened to this beach, but it used to have a lovely sandy section here, but now it's just small pebbles and I'm guessing like a lot of the beaches here, it's suffered from the uh, the effect of the storms. It's washed a lot of the sand away. But it's still nice, it's still pretty, and it's still a nice place to come early in the morning. Anyway, I'll stop talking now and head for home. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please consider giving it a like or a share or both. And uh, of course, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think of the images, the location. Ask me a question, whatever you like. Just leave me a comment, I'd love to hear from you. And finally, as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. So, thank you very much. And until the next video, bye.